Right up at the fort, I've just walked up. I've been doing the lower coastal path and then just walked up through one of the valums there. And uh, you can see where they're chopping everything down now. Um, big bundles of stuff ready to be burnt. Exposing more of the archaeology by the way. But they're actually doing, doing a lot of work. They do more this time of year before the rapid growth. Because you'll get stinging nettles and brambles and all sorts growing now. Yeah, he will. There's a sign on the tree over there. I just will never read of that. They've banned cyclists now from up here. They used to get... Because they have got areas where they can go. See that they're chopping all this down. See if they want to expose this ditch here. And they've marked that number seven up. It's all quite well organised. You've got botanists and sort of a special people who know all about um, trees and stuff. And this tree's had his vines cut. See? So it'd be more unstable now. Well, like they said 200 years ago, there weren't no trees there. Apart from, there were perhaps a couple of ewes probably on some of the beach, but these were all new. You look through there now, a lot of the trees are gone. There's quite a big space now. I haven't gone that side today, I'll leave that for another day, but every time I come, more and more, and my old grey beard I call him, I bet he'll be gone soon. I'll have him down. I'm going on the concrete path because I'm trying to keep a bit clean today. That's why I haven't been weaving in and out like I normally do in the undergrowth. No cycling up. They don't want... I mean, I can imagine one day they won't even let them allow those boys to have those um, humps where they can go, you know, for now it keeps them located in one area rather than cycling everywhere if you know what I mean so they probably are, are allowing it at the moment it keeps them away anyway they should be allowed an area like there's an adventure park it gets done up every now and again I would have thought they'd let someone, a little child, with its mum. I mean, this is where people, adults, used to come and bring their little kids, help them learn to ride here. But they've stopped it now, but a small child might be allowed a small bike, I would have thought. You've got to use your common sense, haven't you? You used to see quite a few people, they weren't going mad either when they're teaching their kids to ride. They all have to go on the strawberry line now, but trouble with the strawberry line. If you're a walker, you get run over so easy. They speed past. There's a whole load here cut down up. They're, they're going along, they're going along. There's some little areas, I think they're ancient woods, they will leave. The yews. Holy trees, you see. Sacred trees. All this has been, yeah, they're going to strip it down. They're going to work all summer. They want to get more people to help them. I ain't. I like the trees. I feel sorry for the animals. But it's birds that start making nests in trees and they're going to be taking them down. Are they thinking about them? One day someone might be interested in this video. These videos I do of the wood when it's all gone. I suppose other people are doing it as well. It's not going to just be me, I wouldn't have thought. But they, I don't know if it would be as regular as I do. 
I'm up here at least once a week over the last 10 years I've seen it when it was really wild I've seen it before this path it's a funny day today it's been a lovely day this could have been a big walk today very small video I'm not going to speak a lot so anyway I've come up up back up through the wood and uh, I'm going on the concrete pass because I never planned to come up here so I've only got ordinary pumps on and it's quite muddy on there I've only put these jeans on today and I didn't want to get them plastered with mud the other ones haven't been washed yet Anyway, I'm just going to walk along this little pathway. I've noticed they've made it no cycling now. I don't know if that will apply to small children, because I think some people would come out with a pushchair and one would be on a small bike. I think people are trying to blind eye to that, to be quite honest. What they don't want is people using this as a racetrack for cyclists. They'll have to go on there. Over there. I met one person with a dog, he was doing a figure eight. And all these different tracks lead down, lead down to various paths, which I've done, of course, many times. But I'm going to keep on the main track. I think we're going to have uh, sausage chips and fish cake tonight. That's plan A. I want to pop in Tesco's, just get a few bits. And then, um, I'll get back and then I can go up to the shop and get some chips. I, I do indulge it. Since I've moved to this new place, I'm nearly a year now actually, it's gone fast. 17th of April, I started moving towards the end of March. It took me two to three weeks to move all my stuff. Anyway, there's a handy little Chinese fish and chip shop, and they do Chinese as well. Uh, there's two stores, there's, there's Tesco Express Co op, there's a pharmacy, there's a bakery, there's a butcher's. There's a hole in the wall. There's a laundry. Um, a couple of um, antique and um, charity shops. So we've got everything there in this little tiny Clarence Park community, I'll call it. And uh, basically. It's uh, the chip shop. Is, um, I went years without eating chips. Didn't even cook them or anything. Well, I don't have them very often now. It's a little a little treat, maybe once a month, and the Chinese once a month. It's just a, I think you've got to have treats. To be quite honest, we eat, I eat fresh veg and all that most of the time. So I don't think it does you any harm. I think, to be quite honest, mind and body work together, mate bloody well do. Sandy this little track though. Sandy for people with pushchairs, prams, people who've got um, disabled buggies. Um, and I think small children, very small children, learning to ride a bike. I think this is, you don't get many people up here. I mean, supervision. I can understand them not wanting the mountain bikers using it. You know, because they don't always ring their bell. So I've, I've I've needed a walk. I'm doing a lot of family tree at the moment. <coughs> I belong to various <coughs> ancestral groups, history groups, and. Uh, 
we, we share info. Um, it helps to verify your work. And there's, of course, and then if you have made a type of error, sometimes it sorts stuff out that you've been a bit confused about. It's like we always agreed, me and Zara, sometimes if we're not sure, still put it on because someone will come out the woodwork and put you right. So, otherwise, you, if you don't put anything on at all, you can't make any corrections. But people should check the stuff out. They should be checking out the stuff. I always do. I always check stuff out. <sighs> A few people coming into view now. <sighs> Alright, I'm going to cross over there now. I'm going to go down. Bang. Go down Landy Mans. I might go to Tesco's Express here actually. I haven't decided yet. I don't know. Nah. Go to the big one. I keep feeling an odd spot of rain coming on. Then it stops. So basically I've managed to get out today in a window of uh, it's just starting to come the rain again now. The tide's going out so the wind has dropped. This is the route I take when you're gonna leave the wood. There's various paths that you can take all the time branching off here there and everywhere which I do of course for a good Ten, eleven years I've been, if not twelve years, exploring this lovely wood. It's been an absolute blessing. And because uh, I got my bus pass, I can actually... The buses are frequent, I just hop on a bus. Because there's nothing worse than having to do quite a... Especially at my age, a bit of a hike before you get anywhere. I mean, I don't really mind, but as soon as there's a bus so frequent, it takes me right into town. I can get one right up the hill here if I want to do the wood this end. Or if I want to get off at the cemetery and go up through that way. Or if I want to go even further by Ashcombe Park and get in the far end. Or if I want to go to Whirl and then walk up past Whirl Golf Course to the wood. So there's various ways... I make the most of my bus pass. I use it all the time. It really is good. And uh, and then, of course, I go to Sand Bay a lot. Use the bus pass. Sometimes um, I do walk there and back, and I always used to do that. But the weather has been so terribly unreliable. This winter's been terrible. Lots of rain and wind and greyness. Um, okay, you can dress up for all weathers. It's true you can, but I just think sometimes it's, is it really nice to go out in, a, in certain weathers? You know, you think, oh god. You know, you can't do any photographs properly and all that. Um... And sometimes I just want to do a, what I call a quick walk. So the bus helps, shortens the journey. You can still enjoy the main part of the walk and then just get back on the bus again. I mean, some people drive, but I think there's a lot more people my age now, retired, who are using the buses. It does save an awful lot of money on parking, petrol. So, don't use it, lose it. That's why really, unless they improved the bus service in Bridgewater so people could get out on the hills, I wouldn't want to leave here because um, at the moment I can get on the Mendips easy. And then an hour from home, get on the bus, get over on the Mendips. You know, I've got all the coastline up this way. They have been discussing the bus routes 
around Bridgewater so hopefully I put in a little word about them needing to put more on. Over and out.